So today I'm gonna to show you one of the most incredible hacks I've stumbled upon that's literally gonna allow us to create our website completely AI generated. We're gonna use that in combination with High Level by adding a form and a calendar to make it a completely active site. Now this is definitely not one you're gonna to wanna to miss because we're gonna show you how to do this from absolute scratch and you're gonna be able to create this website in absolute minutes completely from start to finish. Now this is not gonna be like any normal AI because we're gonna fully create the website and then add it to our High Level account. This is gonna definitely be one you're not going to want to miss. All right, so if you watch my previous video on my introduction to GenSpark, GenSpark for me has been one of the best AI tools out there. So what we've been doing is creating websites inside of GenSpark. You can deploy them inside of GenSpark, but I have high level and I really like the way a high level works, you know, with the CRM and everything else that's attached to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach a form and a calendar to this actual website to show you that you can now integrate these things directly in there. And then we're going to put the website inside a high level so you can see how to actually make this website live using the tools that we know and love, right? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to go to GenSpark and I'm going to speak the prompt and you're going to do the same thing. Now you have to have a GenSpark account in order to make this work. And it does take a few minutes to generate. So I am going to walk away or pause the video while it's generating the website, because then what we're going to do is we're going to take the raw code from the website and I'm going to show you how to install it inside of high level. But the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to speak the prompt. So create a website that is about a microgreens store. The microgreens store is basically where people can come in and buy different microgreen packages. We can also make appointments in where they can talk to one of our representatives and we can ask them to come in and make a specialized package for them that gives them microgreens for a week, month, and whatever they choose. Also, part of that is they also can sign up for our microgreens newsletter where they're gonna get constant updates about the different services and things that we're offering every day. So make sure that you include a place where there will be a calendar for them to make an appointment, speak with our microgreens specialist. And then the second one, I want you to make sure you also add that you're gonna have a place where they can sign up for our newsletter. On top of that, I wanna make sure that in there you're discussing our pricing. And also, by the way, can you please make a logo and generate some images for the site to make it a real lifely site and also make the buttons where you hover over them and they change different colors. Make the site look fresh and new and definitely use a lot of greens to promote the site and make up a company name that we can leverage and use along with that logo. Pretty extensive prompt as you guys know from my previous video, it can handle that. Now, while this is going ahead and doing this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go create a form and a calendar that I can leverage. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go over to sites on the left-hand side, go to forms, go to builder, and I'm just gonna use a very simple form for them to sign in our newsletter, which all we need basically is an email and a name, right? So I'm gonna hit create, start from scratch, come on over here to hit create, gonna call this the microgreens form, all right? Come in here, lose the phone number, lose this, because we don't need it. Terms of service, we're not really gonna need on this case. We're not gonna need last name and we're gonna make the first name and the email required. Make the button subscribe now because this is gonna be for the newsletter. Then we're gonna leave it green because that's gonna be the color that we're gonna use. Go ahead and hit save, all right? And then the next thing I'm gonna do is create a calendar. So I'm gonna go to calendars on the left-hand side. Now, mind you, you would have to have your Google integrated. I'm not gonna go into how to do that on this particular video. A lot of videos that you can do to see that, but I'm gonna go to calendar settings and we're just gonna create a quick calendar and assign myself to it. So I'm gonna select a new calendar. This is gonna be a round robin calendar. We're gonna call it the microgreens calendar intro call. All right, now I'm just gonna give you an example. Obviously microgreens is a very off the topic kind of weird one, right? But it's gonna be nine to five and this is gonna be microgreens, 30 minutes, all right? And I'm gonna go ahead and I assign myself to it and I'm just gonna hit confirm, right? All I'm trying to do is create it so we have something readily available that we can leverage because what we're gonna need is, we're gonna need the iframe link and I'm gonna show you how to grab all this because you see the iframe is what we're gonna give the computer once the site is done because we're gonna tell it to replace with the form and with the calendar. So now that this is here and I'm ready for my calendar, I'm gonna also come over here, right click on this, duplicate it. I'm gonna go into the form and get the same embed code because that's how we're gonna embed it because even though I'm hosting it inside a high level, I need to basically create an embed code in order to like put it in the account without kind of really making this hard on everybody. Because again, the goal would be that you can launch this in minutes and have a site completely up. Now I'm gonna hit the go back button. I'm gonna go over here to sites. I'm gonna to go to forms. I'm gonna to go to builders. I'm gonna find my microgreen form, okay? I just wanna have it all ready, microgreen form. All right, I'm gonna click on the form itself. Once I click on the form itself, I'm gonna leave this up and I'm gonna hit integrate and I'm gonna have the embed code ready. Now I have my calendar, I have my form. 
But remember, with every form, with every calendar, you're definitely going to want automation. So while we have a little time, while the microgreens still kind of creating that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to quickly go in and create some automations. One that can handle the form and the other one for the calendar. Hey, we want to interrupt this video for a quick little minute to just let you know that I hope you're enjoying this video. We want to thank you for being here. But more importantly, we are hoping that this content helps you do whatever you're trying to do inside a high level. We also want to let you know that you have options to get additional help. We offer a $197 a month VIP coaching program that includes four days of office hours, first come, first serve with Andy or myself, where we go in and we answer any of your questions that you might have live with the group setting for other people that are also working in high level. We also have a VIP group group where we answer questions directly one-on-one -on -one with anybody posting in that group to give you the absolute best support. It also comes with a bunch of other features, including our funnel brick system, our little mini course, and more importantly, a couple guides that'll help you through this, and also including our SOP library that we use for pretty much everything inside of our agency. So thank you for this quick little minute, but more importantly, go back to the video, get whatever you need, and if you have any questions that we can answer inside the video, just drop a comment on the video and we'll make sure to answer whenever we get a chance. And now back to the show. So for anybody that has watched me, again, you have a lot of uh, appointment reminders that we already have available for the calendars. Please watch my calendar video to get a full rundown how to do those automations. But for instance, for the actual automations for the microgreens, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a folder. As always, come over here and we're gonna call it M01 for microgreens. And it's gonna be microgreens is gonna be the folder, obviously with only two E's. I hit create, come over here, go to the microgreens folder somewhere in here. All right, let's just see, zero one. There it is. And I'm just gonna create a very simple form, start from scratch, come over here. This is gonna be when somebody fills out the newsletter, right? So microgreens newsletter form, all right? So they fill out the microgreens form. Form submission, submitted, form is, microgreens form, come over here, give them a tag, right? The tag will be microgreens newsletter, and I'm gonna go ahead and add a new tag. Now, mind you, it's already done. Look at this, look how cool this looks. How awesome is this? Look at this, pretty cool, right? Now, I'm gonna throw a little hook in here, right? I'm gonna say, I need you to replace the calendar and the form with these embed codes. Make it work for mobile and desktop, all right? But how cool is this site? Now, I could go back and change the words. Look at this, this thing hovers over. How cool is this? Look at this, add to cart. I'm gonna say, don't let people add to cart. We want orders going over the phone, all right? So I gotta give it the code for the first embed. So I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna copy the embed code, all right? Here is the calendar. I keep saying, spelling the with te. The calendar is here, and then we're gonna continue on with the automation. I'm gonna copy the iframe right in here. Okay, and we're gonna let that cook again. Now, mind you, the reason I'm doing this is so that I can copy the code in whole, right? So I'm gonna come over here, we have the Michael Green's newsletter tag, and I'm gonna do an email, welcome to the newsletter, and I'm gonna let AI write this once it's done, all right? Then I have it in here, so I'm gonna wait until the AI is done because I want the email to be written completely by AI, and then I'm gonna give this a quick little minute in order for this thing to kind of catch up, but basically what we're gonna do afterwards is take this whole entire code, I'm gonna show you how to add it to a web page and then how to make it live. All right, now we have our full completed website and I know that I have this automation waiting in here. So we're gonna come back to that in a second. Let's get to adding the actual website. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come out of here and I'm gonna hit the go back button on the left. I'm gonna go to sites. I'm gonna create a funnel. So new funnel from blank. You can also do a website. It really honestly doesn't matter, but I'm gonna do a funnel. I'm gonna call this the microgreens funnel. Okay, hit create. Remember, I now have, if you kind of look at the site, I now have the calendar from high level embedded in and I have our newsletter embedded in. Now you see, I have all this and I made it where it said add to order and instead call to order, all right? Or schedule a consultation. How cool is that, right? And the schedule consultation brings me to the calendar. Very smart website, ready to rock and roll. I can go back and I say, hey, listen, the thing you created is kind of crunched up. Can you make it a little bit wider? And I can go back and keep commenting. But for the sake of moving quickly, I'm gonna go to code. I'm gonna go here. Here's my microgreens funnel. I'm gonna add a new step. The new step is going to be, let's say it's gonna be landing page or home page, you know, whatever you want to do. How about we say Michael Green's homepage? Michael Green's homepage. All right, hit create funnel step. Give it a second, create from blank. We're going to add one row and one row only because again, full width as far as the section, add a row, one column, add an element. This is the most important part, code. Click on custom JavaScript, hit open code editor. Come over here, hit copy. 
go back to our code editor, drop this in, hit save, hit save again, go to preview, and you got your website. Now again, it looks like it's a little bit to the left or to the right. You can come in here and adjust that. You could say something along the lines is, for some reason, when I add this to the site, everything moved to the left. Can you fix this? All right, don't know why it's doing that. But again, anytime I have an issue or you didn't include, you know, like you didn't have the right image, please change this image out. Or, you know, the calendar is crunching up. You would just come in here and keep asking it to fix or amend whatever the issues are on the site. And then you would go back and you would come in here for the custom code, delete all this and get ready for this thing to be corrected. So I'm gonna give it a little time for it to be corrected. And then I'm gonna ask it for the email that we need in order to do it. Now, the reason I let this error kind of happen instead of showing you the finished polished look is because again, you're gonna run into issues where it might not work or something's a little off, go back and ask it to fix it. So then it's not all to one side or whatever the reason being is like this was. All right, so we're gonna give it a few minutes. All right, I have the updated code, so I'm gonna go over here and copy. And by the way, guys, this is live, so things are not gonna work when I do things live. So sometimes I have to go back in and adjust myself, so I'm gonna hit save. But regardless of which, I just wanted to understand the magnitude of what we just did. Okay, it's still showing up. I think it's more the menu now than anything else, so I know it's gotta fix the menu. So we come in here, but again, here we are. Calendar's in here, newsletter's in here. We're ready to rock and roll. Now I'm gonna go back to GenSpark and say, great. Now give me a welcome email for the newsletter, okay? And it's gonna give me the email, we're gonna copy and paste the email, and then we're just gonna create an automation for the calendar, and then lo and behold, we'll have a fully completed page, and then the only thing you have to do is make it live, which we're gonna to try to also do, just again, if you have to have a domain, which I don't know if I have a domain name. All right, and here we go. So we got the subject line, welcome to the Greenspout family, again, with the chosen name that we have. Go back to my automation, come in here, drop it, oh, let's try that again. Go into the subject line, paste, come in here, delete that, grab the other stuff, which is their name, and we're gonna replace that with a custom value. Follow us, look at this. And again, we're not gonna have social media links now, but guys, the fact that this is happening so quickly and you're able to do this in one shot is pretty good. Now, I'm gonna teach you guys a trick. I just copied and pasted that. So what we're gonna do is actually, we're gonna hit Control Shift V, and it takes away all the formatting and puts it in simple, which is the way I usually like to do it. First name, all right, what you can expect. And now all I honestly do is just add spacing to make this really easy, all right? So daily updates, and these are all bullet points. All right, so we add some bullets, come over here. And again, obviously a fake number because we don't have a real number, clean it all up. Follow us to social media links. We don't have a link for that either, but you guys get the point and everything else. And we go from there, right? So now we got an email, we hit save, we put this to publish and it's ready to rock and roll. Now one for the appointment reminders, you would just come into the same folder. We would hit create a workflow. We would actually select the recipe. Inside the recipe, we're going to go all the way down to my favorite one, which is the recipe appointment for confirmation reminder. Come in here select the microgreens calendar or just do it where every appointment comes in here but we're going to do in calendar and we select micro intro call hit save fantastic all the reminders are here i'm going to hit save and i would publish that and again we would do it m02 so let's just change names just to make it really right so we want to rename the workflow we're just going to change this to m02 boom hit save then what we would do is we would come in here now i'm not going to add an actual domain but we would go into our domains you would see this in here, there's no domains in here. Actually, I have one in here, which is great. So I'm gonna take this domain right in here. I'm gonna hit manage. It's got it connected and I'm gonna connect another one, a funnel. And instead of doing automatedmarketer.live, we're gonna do microgreens.automatedmarketer.live because I'm gonna use a subdomain. I'm gonna hit continue. I'm gonna hit continue again. It's gonna ask me to log into Cloudflare where I have most of my domains already there. We're gonna authorize the domain. It's gonna ask me to log in. I'm gonna go ahead and hit authorize. It's gonna authorize in Cloudflare. Now remember, I have to be logged into Cloudflare. If you have GoDaddy and Cloudflare, it works the best because the domains can be immediate. Cool, now I'm gonna link my microgreens funnel. Hit proceed to finish. And then I'm gonna take this address right here. Oop and my funnel should be up. Now remember, I still have to go back and fix the menu bar, but that would be necessarily it. You see the menu bar is somehow squeezed in the middle, but I would have a pretty active site and I wouldn't wanna waste my time doing that right now with you guys because it might be taking a little back and forth. But other than that, this thing is ready to rock and roll and I could just say, hey, I could take an image of this and say, please analyze this. 
What's happening with Navbar? Can you please fix it? And then I would go ahead and fix it, re-add the code. Ladies and gentlemen, we completely have a full site with active abilities of having an embedded form and actually a calendar in here. And again, I can go back and keep adding, ticking away, add my own phone numbers and do whatever I want without me really having to do anything. This took about a total of 18 minutes or so. We had a kind of some goof ups in here, and but we created automations, we created a calendar, we created a form, and we launched a website and made it live. So hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one.